Is it time already? Congratulations to Robson Hall's graduating class of 2022. We made it, folks. After what seemed like an insurmountable effort, we have survived through many exams, papers, mock trials, negotiations, competitions, three deans, and even a pandemic. You should be proud of yourselves and always remember the work that it took to get to this point. While the majority of our time at Robson Hall may have been virtual, our accomplishments and degree are very real. I would like to give special thanks to our professors, the faculty, and the administration at Robson Hall. They too had to adapt to many of the same challenges delivering law school virtually. I would like to thank our mentors for their shared learned experience with us. As a class, we should remember to pay forward our own experience to others when we're given the opportunity to do so. I would like to extend thanks on behalf of the class to our families, our partners, our friends, and our support networks. I know I speak for our class when I say, we couldn't have done it without you. Whether that was letting us rant about a certain class or project, reading our papers, listening to us practice oral arguments for the 100th time, or even bringing us a cup of tea when we were buried in the books. Thank you for being there. In writing this speech, I attempted to find something inspirational to tell you. I was stuck between two individuals who I respect very much, so I decided to include both. First, I spoke with my grandfather and asked him if he had any advice for someone closing the chapter of school and starting a career. I'll paraphrase the three things here that he said to me. One, be compassionate and kind. Respect your colleagues, coworkers, and your clients. You don't know what someone may be going through and it may be their worst day ever. Don't make it worse. Two, stick to your moral compass and stay true to yourself. If you don't know the difference between right and wrong, speak with others you respect and learn from them. Take note of their guiding principles develop your own ethics and uphold them. Follow the law society's ethics too. Three, leave room for humor and the absurd. The work you will be doing will be very stressful. Remember to laugh when it's appropriate and keep a lightness in your heart as you deal with the darkness of trauma, grief, and loss. The second person I chose to quote is fictional. Captain John Luke Picard of the Starship Enterprise once said, seize the time, live now. Make now always the most precious time, for now will never come again. I think what John Luke was trying to say was something along the lines of spend time with your loved ones, enjoy your hobbies, practice self-care, and relax. Work will always be there when you get back to it. And now that the formal part of the speech is taken care of. So I sent out a survey to the class to gather materials for writing this speech. While the response was limited, I feel enough of us responded to give an idea of the experiences we shared together. 60% of the responses were from AO3. So we at least know that AO3 has the most extroverts. Professor Sharif was listed the most as a favorite professor. Honorable mentions to Professor Irvine, Professor Heckman, Professor Curran, Professor Kennedy, Professor Busby, and Professor Schultz, who are all mentioned more than once. Please note, that almost every professor was mentioned at least once, even Professor Ireland, though I'm not sure how he managed to submit his own name to the class questionnaire. On the questionnaire, I asked what your favorite class was and what your least favorite class was. I'm sure that you'll find it interesting to note that a lot of the classes were on both lists. This just shows us how diverse the interests in our cohort are. I'm sure that as we go into our careers, the variety of our interests will expand even further. However, there were a few exceptions to this. The following electives only appeared on the favorites list. Advanced advocacy, Aboriginal people in the law, which many of you said should be a mandatory class, tainted finance, gender in the law, law and popular culture, the moots and the externship experiences. If there are any 1Ls and 2Ls listening, the class of 2022 highly recommends that you take these classes. On the questionnaire, I asked, if you could tell your 1L self anything, what would you say? There was an overwhelming theme to this that emerged from your answers. Relax, chill out, calm down. 
And then the sage advice, take care of your mental health. Take every chance you get to spend with loved ones and classmates, and don't worry too much about the future. There were two responses that I thought had a lot to say, so I'm gonna read them out verbatim. One speaks to appreciating the moment, and the other addresses imposter syndrome, which I'm sure that many of you can identify with. Cherish the little things, the bustling common room, and the smell of the warm food by the microwaves, the overfilled study rooms, and the furious clicking of all your friends' fingertips on their keyboards, the terrible whine at the forgettable law events, and the sound of laughter as it fills the room. It goes by quicker than you think. You all deserve to be here. You've earned your place. It was hard work and it wasn't easy. You should be proud of yourselves. This brings to mind other memories from our in-person first year and the virtual years that we should cherish. The moments between classes in 1L, the conversations before lectures started, the realization that a C plus isn't the end of the world. Professor Kern's ghost stories and contracts, meeting the Supreme Court justices, writing exams from home, leaving your cameras off during class, well, some of us, and finally, how we were able to reunite at some of the in-person events like Carbolic this year. We may have missed out on some of the in-person traditions that you normally get in law school, but we're lucky to have our 1L memories, and dang, I bet you're all super proficient with video conferencing. Make sure you put that on your resume. While not everyone is gonna practice law, and many of you are leaving Manitoba, our ties will remain. We share an experience together that not many have, and it's something that binds us. Our connections with each other will follow us into our careers and be there for the rest of our lives. Make sure you stay in touch, class of 2022. Stay humble and stay classy. Thank you.